Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for Monday, June the 5th, 2017. On your screen, you're looking at uh, a nice breakout stock here. Ticker symbol is BTSC, and this tracks the Bitcoin. As you can see here, nice upward trajectory, had a nice breakout today. Look at your four hour chart here, just all day up. And uh, one hour chart can, kind of gave some back the last uh, hour of trading here, but still nonetheless finishing up at 14 cents today, which is great. So hopefully we get some nice follow through here. Looking at GBTC, which is another uh, Bitcoin tracker, it ended the day pretty well uh, as, uh, as well. So we're at 516 now on the day coming off at a fresh high of 565 made about uh, two weeks ago. All right, let's see how the Dow did so far. It was a very quiet day you know, for the stock indexes. Yeah, we, we hit a, a high of 21,227 and the market's kind of just chilling here at 21,178. Looking at your oil, your oil finished the day Still hugging that $47 handle. And you can see here, we're right here at the support line, which is the top of the Kumo cloud. We've got one more ramp coming up, followed by a few little little bumps and then a nice big jump here before consolidation. So we'll probably get back up toward $52 handle uh, within the next several weeks. Of course, if we don't get a, a huge, huge, huge selling event, if we do, then we're going down to around $4 a share. We are in a downtrend channel, and the market could pick up some downside momentum. Uh, we've lost momentum. Last week, we finished below momentum, and today, uh, we're starting that, uh, that trend off again. So we're below momentum. Market's going to need to close above, I want to say, 48.52. Uh, so we're going to need to close somewhere around there in order to get this momentum back. That's what's going to need to happen. So, yeah, 48.52. Let's take a look at those bonds. The bonds finished at the 154.14 level, which is strong. Anything above 153 is strong. 153 is neutral. 154 is strong. A close this week above 155.21 would be very bullish. That could push prices right here inside the Kumo cloud around the 160 mark. So bonds still coming under a little bit of pressure at this momentum junction here, but we got this air pocket between here and here. So prices do have room to run at least five points to the top side. If we fail up in here, and we fail to close above 153.20 this week, then chances are we could come back down here and that would open the door to interest rate hikes. So we're a ways off from that, but hey, you never know what can happen. All right, so taking a look now at gold. So far, gold is nice and bullish, pulse waving. And right now, we just need a close this week of 1266.70 to maintain the bullish outlook. Looking at silver, silver managed to stay above momentum, which is great. We need to close above 1726 this week to keep this bullish momentum uh, in play. And if we can do that, we have a strong chance of getting back above 18 on silver. Taking a look here at the Widowmaker market, natural gas, S still below that uh, $3 support line, which is now quickly becoming resistance. So we're right here at the crossroads. Are we going to do what I suggested back here? Are we going to spike low and reverse, or something else going on here? So we're in the Kumo cloud of death, and we're just kind of stuck right now in the natural gas. All right, so 
let's take a look at our miners here, GDX. All right, GDX flat so far for the week. Nothing happening, but we're going to need to close above 2271 this week in order to keep the bullish momentum alive. Failure to do so puts us in free fall status, and who knows where it will stop. All right, GDXJ, taking a look at this one. All right, this one is well below the Kumo cloud, and it's really been struggling here. Uh, it's going to need to close above 3213 if it's going to put an end to this downdraft and, and open up the door for hope to run back up to the 34 handle. That will be the target if we can do that this week. Failure to do so, then we're going to break down, and we don't know where that's going to stop either. All right, so that's where we are. So quiet so far today, but we'll see what's up. Uh, but kudos on the on the call for the BTSC. That was a nice play, and my immediate target on that is anywhere between two fifty and five dollars. So we'll see what can happen on that. Um, you never know. Yeah, but all things being equal, Bitcoin continuing to do what it's doing. Yeah, I think this, uh, this, these uh, Bitcoin trackers, I like to call them, are definitely in play. And who knows how high they can end up going. All right, so that's it for today. Just remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can. Give nothing back. Come on over. Do yourself a favor. Come on over to postwavetrading.com. Sign up for our study course and get yourself in line to learn what the central banks don't want you to know and learn how to profit in this new algorithmic environment that we find ourselves in. Peace.